Science that's cool, paper's so unique. Welcome back to Cool Ass Papers that I read this week. So we know nanoparticles leave cancer if they're not staying around long enough to kill them. But there's still one very important question to ask. Where are they going? The first place they checked? The heart. They took these incredible images of the entire system, starting from the tumor, through the lymphatic system, and eventually the part of the circulatory system that connects the lymph nodes to the heart. Here's one of those pictures where they labeled the different parts of each pathway. See these big glowing regions? Those are the nanoparticles which have been labeled with a specific dye to make them glow when under a microscope. More specifically, I've zoomed into the most important part of this image. This is where the lymph node is connected to the heart, specifically focus on the left subclavian vein and the superior vena cava. And though it's faint, much fainter than the rest of this image, you can see that there's still lots of nanoparticles glowing. But what does this mean? This implies that once the nanoparticles leave the tumor, they eventually get to our heart, which is then pumped throughout the rest of our body. Though this sounds like a bad thing, it could be a really good thing. The authors state that these nanoparticles have the potential to recirculate throughout the body and interact with the tumor in another path, basically meaning that it gets a second chance to get in and kill the cancer. The suggested mechanism is kind of like a roundabout. You can just keep going around and around and try new streets until you find the street that you like, which in this case is cancer that you want to kill. <laughs>